Good evening and welcome to our evening prayer on this Friday, the 7th of May. I wonder what your day has been like. Tomorrow is a celebration of the life of Julian of Norwich. She was a spiritual writer. And perhaps you've come across this quote, all shall be well, all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. I hope you will join me as we journey to find out more about Julian of Norwich. I am trying to get to know more about her. And it is a journey and I hope we can all take it together. Let's come to our evening prayer before God. Oh God, make speed to save us. Oh Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O oh Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise forever. From the deep waters of death, you brought your people to new birth by raising your son to life in triumph. Through him, dark death has been destroyed and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvelous light, may our lives reflect his glory and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Let us say the song of David. Splendor and majesty are yours, O God. You are exalted as head of our all. Blessed are you, God of Israel, forever and ever. For yours is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. Everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head of our all. Riches and honor come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might. Yours it is to give power and strength to all. And now we give you thanks, our God, and praise your glorious name. For all things come from you, and of your own have we given you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Splendor and majesty are yours, O God. You are exalted as head of our all. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O oh God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. A first reading is from Psalm 66. All the earth shall worship you, O God, O Lord. Be joyful in God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Sing the glory of his praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great strength, your enemies shall bow for you. All the earth shall worship you. Sing to you, sing praise to your name. All the earth shall worship you, O Lord. Come now and behold the works of God. How wonderful he is in his dealings with humankind. He turned the sea into dry land. The river they passed through on foot, they were rejoiced. There we rejoiced in him. In his might, he rules forever. His eyes keep watch over the nations. Let no rebel rise up against him. Bless our God, all you people. 
make the voice of his praise to be heard. Who holds our souls in life and suffers not our feet to slip? For you, O oh God, have proved us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the snare. You laid heavy burdens upon our backs. You let enemies ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, but you brought us into, into a place of liberty. I'll come into your house with burnt offerings and will pay you my vows with my lips uttered and my mouth promised when I was in trouble. I'll offer you fat burnt sacrifices with the smoke of rams. I'll sacrifice oxen and goats. Come and listen, all you who fear God, and I'll tell you what he has done for my soul. I called out to him with my mouth, and his praise was on my tongue. If I had nursed evil in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. But in truth, God has heard me. He has heeded the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not rejected my prayer, nor withheld his loving mercy from me. All the earth shall worship you, O oh Lord. Let us pray. How generous is your, is your goodness, O oh God. How great is your salvation. How faithful is your love. Help us to trust you in trial and praise you in deliverance through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our next reading is from Numbers, chapter 14, verse 1 to 25. Then all the congregation raised a loud cry, and the people wept that night, and all the Israelites complained against Moses and Aaron the whole congregation said to them, would that we had died in the land of Egypt or would that we had died in this wilderness? Why is the Lord bringing us into this land to fall by the sword? Our wives and our children, our little ones will become booty. Would it not be better for us to go back to Egypt? So they said to one another, let us choose a captain and go back to Egypt. Then Moses and Aaron fell on their faces before all the assembly of the congregation of the Israelites. And Joshua, son of Nun, and Caleb, son of Jephunneh, who were among those who had spied out the land, tore their clothes and said to all the congregation of the Israelites, the land that we went through as spies is an exceedingly good land. If the Lord is pleased with us, he will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land that flows with milk and honey. Do not rebel against the Lord and do not fear the people of the land for they are no more than bread for us. Their protection is removed from them and the Lord is with us. Do not fear them, but the whole congregation threatened to stone them. Then the glory of the Lord appeared at the tent of meeting to all the Israelites. And the Lord said to Moses, how long will these people despise me? And how long will they refuse to believe in me in spite of all the signs that have done among them? I'll strike them with pestilence and disherit them. And I'll make you a nation greater and mightier than they. But Moses said to the Lord, then the Egyptians will hear of it for in your might, you, might, you brought up these people from among them. 
and they will tell the uh, inhabitants of this land. They've heard that you, O oh Lord, are in the midst of these people. For you, O oh Lord, are seen face to face and your cloud stands over them and you go in front of them in a pillar of cloud by day and in a pillar of fire by night. Now, if you kill these people all at one time, then the nations who have heard about you will say, it is because the Lord was not able to bring these people into the land. He swore to give them that he has slaughtered them in the wilderness. And now, therefore, let the power of the Lord be great in, in the way that you promised when you spoke, saying, the Lord is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, forgiving iniquity and transgression, but by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the parents upon the children. For the third and the fourth generation, Forgive the iniquity of these people according to the greatness of your steadfast love, just as you have pardoned these people from Egypt even until now. Then the Lord said, I do forgive just as you have asked. Nevertheless, as I live and as all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord, none of the people who have seen my glory and the signs that I did in Egypt and in the glory of the Lord that I did in Egypt and in the wilderness and have yet and yet have tested me these ten times and have not obeyed my voice shall see the land that I swore to give to their ancestors. None of those who despise me shall see it. But my servant Caleb because he has different spirit and has followed me wholeheartedly, I'll bring into the land into which he went and his descendants shall possess it. Now, since the Am 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 Amalekites and the Canaanites live in the valleys, turn tomorrow and set out for the wilderness by the way to the Red Sea. Our next reading is from Luke chapter 6, verses 1 to 11. One Sabbath, while Jesus was going through the cornfield, his disciples plucked some heads of grain, rubbed them in their hands, and ate them. But some of the Pharisees said, Why are you doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath? Jesus answered, have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? He entered the house of God and took and ate the bread of the, of the presence, which is not lawful for any but the priests to eat, and gave some, of, some to his companions. Then he said to them, the son of man, is Lord of the Sabbath. On another Sabbath, he entered the synagogue and taught, and there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him to see whether he would cure on the Sabbath so that they might find an accusation against him. Even though he knew what they were thinking, he said to the man who had the withered hand, come and stand here. He got up and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good or to do harm on the Sabbath, to save life or to destroy it? After looking around at all of them, he said to him, stretch out your hand. He did so and his hand was restored. But they were filled with fury and discussed with one another 
what they might do to Jesus. Don't you just love Jesus every time he is asked a question? I've not come across where he just says a flat no or a flat yes. I think it always comes up with some examples or something to say. Um, may we all continue to find something and like something and love Jesus, just like Julian of Norwich did. She loved Jesus. Let us say the Magnificat. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and he has scattered the proud in their conceits, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. Let us pray for peace. Peace in our community. Peace amongst ourselves in our homes, in our workplaces. Let us learn to recognize the face of God when we have peace around us. Perhaps when you are out and about, maybe you can just whisper peace to somebody as you walk past. Maybe you could just whisper peace to whoever is in your house. And maybe you should just make it a habit of saying peace. As Jesus always said, peace unto you. Let us think about the people in our community, those who are not well. We ask for their health to be restored, to be made comfortable. Those in pain, may they have comfort through the night. And for the people who are looking after them, to have that patience and to extend to them that extra care. We thank you, Lord, that most of us and most people who are not well are being looked after. We think of all in our community who, who people who may be struggling with life, struggling because they don't have jobs. Or maybe they've received news that their job is being terminated. Lord, help them to have trust and faith that you will provide them. Let us collect our prayer and think of people around us. Whatever needs that they have.
Let us pray. On this day that the Lord has made, let us pray for the people who he has redeemed, that we may live as those who believe in the triumph of the cross. That all people may receive the good news of his victory. That those who suffer pain and anguish may find healing and peace in the wounds of Christ. That in the undying love of Christ, we may be united with all who have died in the faith of Christ. Let us commend the world in which Christ rose from the dead to the mercy and protection of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our collect for the day, almighty God, who through your only begotten son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant that as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires. So by your continual help, you may bring them to good effort. Effect through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for being with us. I hope you have a good evening. Tomorrow, we celebrate Julian of Norwich. Find out more about her if you can. And we'll share notes. Richard will be with you on Monday morning. 